Hi there, this is Aaron with HearSource.com. Today we're going to go over the HearSource fitting software and in this tutorial the, uh, the client information screen which is the first screen that, that pops up uh, when you first launch your HearSource software. Now the client information screen is important. This is where we're going to gather the necessary data such as your hearing loss and uh, the client's first and last name so we can track it within the software. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to put in your first name and you also need to put in your last name. It's up to you if you want to put in the rest of the information as far as the, these other fields go, but uh, those fields are mainly used in our clinic uh, and for personal use you probably don't need to fill those out. So we're going to leave those blank for, for uh, this tutorial purposes. And now we need to put in our left audiogram and right audiogram uh, so the hearing software knows how to calculate the appropriate amounts of amplification uh, that you need to receive from your hearing aids. And to do this you're going to take your mouse and you're going to go up to the audiogram and you're going to plot a blue X uh, at the point for your left ear. I'll do this real quickly for John Doe. Now if both ears are the same, you can quickly transpose what's on the left to the right or vice versa by clicking this little box here. I'm going to do that real quickly. And so we've got a complete copy. Now if you needed to modify, you know, a frequency or another, you can actually modify that as well by clicking the, the plot point there. Kind of makes a quick work of uh, getting your audiogram information uh, on, on the screen here. Okay, um, at this point you would want to save uh, your data and you would click this little floppy disk here and this uh, saves the data in inside the computer. Now initially uh, I want you to check uh, for your connection here. Your eMini tech needs to be checkboxed. A lot of times when the software installs the HiPro box will be automatically detected. And uh, our, our uh, programming interface is the eMini tech so make sure that's checkmarked and in your properties menu here under the program settings make sure that both uh, these checkboxes for enable auto program and automatic auto fit enabled are unchecked and uh, then go ahead and hit save okay now we've got all our information uh, correctly in the client information screen and now we're ready to start communicating with our hearing aids so at this point um, you need to make sure that your hearing aids are connected to the eMini Tech Programmer. And then you're going to click the Selection tab. Now after clicking the Selection tab, then you're going to click Detect for the left ear, if you've got a hearing aid for that side connected, and also for the right side. Now by detecting, this is, um, this is going to allow us to initiate the synchronization between the computer and get it talking through the eMini tech and communicating with the hearing aids. Uh, once we get a successful detection, uh, automatically you'll see a product family uh, pop up here. Um, a lot of our hearing aids use this 12 series plus, so I'm going to cl click that. And uh, it will also automatically pop open the model selection. And uh, for like the freestyle, which is available through our website, and the uh, all right, uh, you will see the OEBTE, which means open ear behind the ear hearing aid. Um, okay, so after you get a successful detection, now we're ready to move into the fitting software. And this is where we're going to be able to uh, manipulate all the audio adjustments and make the hearing aid sound uh, correct to you. And you'll do that by just clicking this tab, and that will move you over to the fitting software. Well, this will conclude the, uh, this tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-416-2434. Or you can reach me by email, which is at techsupport at Thank you all, and have a good day.